All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, elders of great millstone, teaching us, the Lord sent truth according to the Bible, were well. And peace and blessings to the afflicted of the nation of Israel, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Shai. We'll get into a Lord's willing and edifying lesson you know, on prayer and how we should be praying more. You know, um, I just typed in the blue letter, uh, pray in Lord. You know, uh, you know, there was a bunch of scriptures that came up, uh, jumped down to Psalms. And, um, let's just start reading. This is, uh, Psalm chapter five, verse three. My voice shall I hear in the morning, O Yahweh by Shema Washai. So in the morning, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, should be hearing our voice in our prayers, you know, asking the Lord, you know, to, you know, brother should be sending up the Lord's prayer, you know, in the Hebrew face in the east, you know, and this should be part of our, you know, daily practice of serving Yahweh by Shema Shai, a part of our daily ritual. Of serving our Lord, you see, sending up prayers in the morning, you know, as soon as we uh, get up, right, um, as soon as we get up in the morning, it, you know, scriptures even talk about how Yahweh Shai, you know, at times we'll, we'll get up early and, you know, before, before everything started, he will get up and pray, you know, he would depart off and, you know, and, and, and meditate and pray to Yah by Shema Vashai. It says, My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Yah by Shema Vashai. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Right? So, you know, very intentional. Like, as soon as you wake up, have understanding what your purpose is. Your purpose, our purpose it's to serve y'all by Shema Shai. And, you know, we need the Lord's help. We need the Lord's forgiveness. You know, we should be uh, thanking y'all by Shema Shai uh, that he has not taken his Holy Spirit from us, right? This is Psalms 6 and 9. The Lord, y'all by Shema Shai, have heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayers. And by you praying to the Lord, you know, and you see the Lord answering your prayers. You see the Lord, you know, uh, making things shake in the earth. You know, making the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai as, you know, uh, being that refuge, you know, in your day-to-day -day life. These things, you know, give you more confidence and faith and and more understanding to know that the Lord is really a uh, dealing with his people in these last days, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. It gives you that faith and 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 and, and understanding the Lord the Lord is with us. The Lord is on our side. You know, the Lord is hearing our prayers. You see? This is um this is Psalms Chapter 42, verse 8. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the nighttime, his song shall be with me. And my prayer and my prayer unto the Lord, unto the, the God of my life. See, the, the Lord is the God of our life. Right? And, and, and Yahweh Shai, he's coming back with, with the band of angels. You know, he's going to set up the kingdom of heaven, you know. And, and, and now, you know, we have this truth, you know. And, and, and we're preaching or you know, prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great. The Lord has given us something great for us to have in these last days. And we got to be appreciative to that, Right. And how can you uh, be appreciative of that if you're not communicating with Yahweh by Shema Shai, if you're not praying, you know, praying more, you know, of course, you know, brothers pray in the car and, you know, pray when they're at, uh, at the job. But when you're at home, you know, you should dedicate time to praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai. 
in the morning when when you get home from work, right? You should you should dedicate time. You dedicate time to eat. You know, you should dedicate time to praying to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know? It says, but Psalm 69 and 13, but as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time, O Yahweh Shema Shai, in the multitude of thy mercies, hear me in the truth of thy salvation, right? So we're begging the Lord. You know, whatever you're going through, whatever uh, financial woes you may have, whatever uh, troubles, you know, any uh, affirmities, any ailments that you're dealing with, whatever, whatever you uh, might want to do, you know, uh, whatever goals you might want to uh, try to achieve, you know, habits or behaviors, whether it's uh, going for walks every day or you know, uh, doing uh, push-ups or squats, whatever it may be, eating a, a more, you know, uh, well-balanced diet, right? Whatever it may be, you should be praying to Yah by Shema Shai for help and assistance and guidance of these things, asking the Lord to have mercy upon you and asking the Lord to allow you to, to, to accomplish these things. Right, because without prayer, you know these things cannot be accomplished. It's not as easy as just waking up, you know, an hour early for work, and going for that walk. Right, it is it, it's it's a little harder than that. Right, you have to pray to the Lord to allow you to overcome uh, those uh those demons in the flesh. You have to ask for the Lord, uh, for forgiveness. You know, so you can uh. You know, uh, for your sins and mercy, so those ailments in your body can be healed, right? This is Psalm chapter 86, verse 1. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy, right? It says, Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Right, so we're asking the Lord to bow down his ear for we are poor and needy. We're acknowledging that we're poor, right? Have not the most high Yahweh Shema Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, to be heirs to the kingdom of the most high. So even we're we're poor, you know, but but we realize through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai that that we we've been called into this thing, and, and we could, we very well could be chosen, right? And, and we are very needy, you know. Uh, you have a needy uh, a needy child, a needy uh, anything. Anyone who is needy, you know. Well, we are needy, you know. I'm a very needy person, and I'm gonna pray to Yahweh Shema Shai for my needs, you know, or my necessities to be uh, taken care of. You know, as Esau, Edom, he, he's trying to make it, you know, impossible for you to, you know, get a proper water. You know, you should be praying to the Lord over your uh, food and, you know, which Jake, the Jake, Jake is good for that, right? Praying to the Lord, you know, for over over their food, you know, but you have to be eating lawful foods. Just want to mention that. It says, preserve my soul for I am holy. O thou, my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Right? You can't say you trust in the Lord when you're not asking him for guidance in your life. You're not asking him for strength to overcome certain temptations. Right? How can you say you trust in the Lord when you're not asking him for his assist for his, for assistance? It says, Be merciful unto me, O Lord. For I cry unto thee daily, right? So daily, uh, uh, you had um, King David praying to the Lord. You had Daniel when he when he was praying to Yah by Shema Shai. You know he he was cast into the lions den. You know going about you know praying to the Lord, and 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 and, and you know. 
he, he was cast into the lion's den, right? He took time of his day. He set up, you know, you can set up a, a you know, a simple altar, you know, just have some, you know, uh, facing the east and just have some uh, candle or uh, candles, incense, you know, you have some, some candles, right? If, you know, I wouldn't, whatever, whatever you want to do, you light some incense, right? And, 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 you know, pray to the Lord, you know, and, and ask the Lord for forgiveness and mercy and ask the Lord to keep his Holy Spirit upon you. Right? It says, be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. It says, rejoice the soul of thy servant. See, we should ask the Lord to, to quicken us, you know, to rejuvenate our spirits as, you know, especially after a long day at work, we're, we're drained, right? But we still want to be able to continue to do thy will, right? It says, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul, for thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenty and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. You see, it says, give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee. For thou will answer me. How do you know the Lord is going to answer you in time of your trouble? Because you're praying to him every day. And he's already answering you. He's already, uh, you know, dealing with you. And you have that confidence, you know. I, you know, I asked the Lord, you know, to give me the strength to make it to the day. And, and I got through it. You know, it was, it was, it was hard, but the, but the Lord is with me, you know, now. You know, I'm going to have even more faith to, to pray to the Lord again, you know, and, 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 and the Lord, you know, I believe the Lord is going to give me the strength to overcome, right? I believe the Lord is going to give me, you know, uh, I believe, uh, you know, I'm praying the Lord does have mercy upon me, right? And that's not to say that, you know, when you pray to the Lord, you know, the Lord is like a genie, he's just going to answer, you know, give you everything you want. You know, but if you're praying for uh, character development, you know, if you're praying for spiritual things, you know, the Lord, you know, as a uh, as a father, you're right. He, he knows how to give those uh, those proper gifts onto men, you know, and onto the uh, women. Right. Who who are sincerely asking for uh, spiritual growth, you know, mercy. Right. If you're sincere. All right, but the um, Lord's willing, right? I'm not saying you can just pray to the Lord for, you know, if you're dealing with car situation, you can pray to the Lord for that, you know, you know, but you can't pray, you know, just, you know, this, this ain't the lie or you're saying uh, Christianity. So don't get it, uh, you know, uh, twisted where you can just pray to the Lord for, for 2020 bins and you're going to get it right. Just be sincere, ask for spiritual things, ask for uh, mercy, ask for uh, Yahweh Shema Shai to keep his spirit upon you, right? And uh, let's get that in Psalms. I do want to, I do want to read that. This is Psalms, I quoted it a few times, Psalm 51 and um, verse 10, create in me a clean heart. O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. You see? <laughs> so we're at, we, that's what you should be asking the Lord, to, to, to restore the joy of his salvation. You know, don't let me lose that hope in, in, in what I'm fighting for as we go through our trials and tribulation. And uphold me with thy free spirit. That's what we ask of the Lord. Keep the spirit upon us that we can continue to uh, bear our infirmities, right? And, and to go through uh, this straight and narrow path, you know, uh, you know, with confidence, knowing that Yahweh Shema Shai is going to bring his uh, words to pass, you know, in our lifetime, and, and, and he's going to be with us when all hell breaks us with that. You know, Lord's only edified. Next, I'm going to say, Shalom.